Hello everyone, you are welcome to my kitchen and in today's video I'm going to show you how to cook, to prepare beans. I'm going to show you how to prepare beans with plantain. It's very nice. You know beans is proteinous protein so i love it you see this one also is plantain all you need you buy the beans okay and you need onions you need crayfish you need salt you need red oil palm oil and you need pepper pepper See, you need pepper, you need red oil. I have already grounded this is grounded crayfish. Some people do put it like that, but I grind my one. This is onions, the salt, the oil is for frying the plantain. But there are so many ways to cook beans, but I am cooking my in a traditional way. Traditional way, that is why I'm using palm oil. Some people do it in a stew style, but this is really traditional method. I'm teaching you, I'm showing you today how to cook beans in a traditional way. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is I have to open up the beans. Open up and... I am going to clean it and I am going to cook it to become very very soft but before you start to boil it I will have to clean it first so you come with me to show you how to clean the base Because it goes through a lot of process, so you need to clean it. Thank you. I'm going to use a big uh, pot to cook it because I don't want the beans, the water start dropping all over my cooker gas. So I'm going to add water to it. The water has to cover it. You can add hot water. And add cold water. The reason why I'm adding hot water is to make it start boiling faster. So the water have to cover it, and you have to keep adding water and water and water. The reason why we boil it is to become very soft. If this is not soft, you can't eat it. See, the gas is on, so you need to boil it. So when it's soft, then I teach you what you need. I will show you what you need to add. Then it comes. Adding the pepper, the crayfish, the palm oil, and uh, yeah, one thing also I forget to add is to show you is uh, cooking beans also required you to put a uh, monkey. So it's one of those things you need. So these beans have to be very soft. We are still going to add water, two, three of these to become very soft. If it's not soft, you can eat it. 
you won't enjoy it. You can't eat it, but you won't enjoy it. So we are going to cook it, boil it for like an hour. Depends on this the beans. Um, some do take time, but this I will see how this go. But what is important is the beans have to be very very soft. Thank you. See you in an hour's time. Bye. Hello. I just want to show you how it look like. You know, I told you that the purpose of we boiling it is for the base to be soft. It's, 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 it's not really soft yet. So he really need to be soft. So I am adding more water. See, I'm adding more water to it. started to change you no know, it's protein beans so you need to be really be soft see you later so you're welcome you see how the beans is looking like now it's soft now you can see from here what is that sun so it's very soft now so very soft so i'm going to come now add my ingredients uh, pepper crayfish onions which i'm going to blend them all together then i'm going to add it to it and we'll be boil again for another 20 minutes so as you all know we are cooking beans in a traditional method it's a very very simple process you just have to have patience and let the beans keep boiling you know so thank you i'm going to go blend all my you know the reason why i use a, this a bigger pan pot is i don't want it throwing all over my uh, cooker gas cooker then at the end of the day i have to start cleaning cleaning but it's good to clean but there are some way you can also prevent it by using a bigger pan thank you so much for watching please uh, i would like you to please subscribe to my channel also uh, let me know what you think let me know your thoughts if there's anything i need to improve on and also do not forget to press the notification button so that whenever i do upload a new video then you will be notified also don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you so much I'm going to blend, go blend everything together now. And we are going to start by uh, chopping up the onions. This is onions. You need onions for it. We need it for it. So, I'm going to chop them all. So, I'm going to clean it. Onions. Ready to chop them up. Chop them up. So this pepper is extra hot, but I'm not going to put too much because it's extra hot. When it's also too hot, it's not nice. So I put a bit. Let me add a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. It's extra hot, so I don't want it to be too hot. So I'm adding my crayfish. This is my crayfish. I'm adding this to it because I'm blending everything together I'm blending all together I'm adding water I'm adding water to it
So I'm going to cover it. It's still going to cook for about 20 minutes. So see how it's looking now. If you have crayfish, prom you can add. That is prom, like or fresh or dry. This time by um, we are cooking beans in a traditional method. That is the purpose of this tutorial. I'm teaching you guys how to cook Africa in black eye beans in a traditional method. So I'm not adding my my maggie. You have to break it. You can leave it like that, but I break it so that uh, he mates quickly, so that it will dissolve quickly. See, I have to open it, and I'm putting two, not too much. Then I break it. Cooking African cooking beans in a traditional method. So. I put just the maggi now. So, cover it now. See the beans now. I'm adding palm oil. Adding palm oil to it, but some people don't like oil. I think you can eat it like that. But I add the palm oil, not too much, not too much. So I'm still going to cover it. I'm still going to cover it to boil and I'm adding salt later but for now it should be boiling and the next step next step is how we are going to fry the plantain this one you can buy also from the Africa shop I don't know area you are watching from or you can buy it maybe in your local supermarket and we need a frying pan to fry the plantain we need oil you can fry it with any oil palm oil it doesn't really matter but palm oil is very expensive so i'm frying with this and uh, sunflower oil and you need salt so we are going to start by opening the plantain you can do it anyhow what is important that you got what is inside this one you don't need to eat this it goes to the bin okay i'm going to throw it away so we are going to cut this one into So I'm going to add salt. Then I'm going to rub the salt on it. So I'm taking my um, this is frying pan. You can use the deep fryer if you have one. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to fry with a frying pan. If you have a deep fryer, you can also use it to fry the plants. In. Um, I'm using a frying pan today. So I still have some oil for the leftover. So you have to let all the water go out of it. So you add the oil to be hot so the oil needs to be hot okay just
So we are going to wait for it to be hot. Please, if you have if you have children around, please don't let them come closer to the frying pan. Please, please, please. And that is why I will advise you, if you have children, to use the deep fryer. With this one, the frying pan, with somebody who have little children, my children are grown up, so and they are not here. When I'm frying it, I don't let them stay around in the kitchen. Should this case is throw up and oil is very hot. So I will advise you to use a frying pan. If, if you don't, no, not a frying pan, we advise you to use a deep fryer. If you haven't got any deep fryer and you are frying it, so make sure you put it, and not the first, and put it at the back. So that even if you throw up, it will be far from you for your own health and safety. Thank you, because I've been doing this for ages, so that is why you see I'm using this one, the first one. When I'm frying, as a new, as a beginner, you use the one inside there because of health and safety. But I will advise you, youngsters, use deep fryer, please. And if you don't have a deep fryer, you still can fry it, but you have to be very careful. And don't be using your phone and, and uh, texting your friend while, while you are frying oil. Oil is hot. It's not hot water. Please. Be, be, you have to be careful, watch out for health and safety reason. So use deep fryer. And if you haven't got one, don't put your, your frying pan at the very beginning, put it at the, at the, the one at the back. You can see my base is still. You can see I'm doing the two at the same time because for you to know that I've been cooking for a long time. But for people who, who have just started to learn how to cook, I will advise you to 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 cook them one by one gradually first finish cooking your beans and when you finish and you start frying your plantain because you can't do the two at the same time for you to be able to do do uh, uh, both at the same time you must really be an expert or you have been cooking for a long time you see how it is do you like please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment let me know your thoughts please it's very important and also do not forget to press the notification button because i'm going to be bringing up a lot of homemade food how to really cool a uh, traditional meal you know our tutorial today is how to cook beans in a traditional way traditional method with ripe plantain thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe also tell others about my channel about my food and everything and please let me know your thoughts that is very important too thank you so much um see you later it's time to add salt I'm not going to add too much, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. So this is what I've got here. So if it's not enough, you can always add. So, and this is my, you see the plate is right now. So this is the final stage of the beans. So it's ready now to eat. So this is the final stage. The last thing you add is salt. So, you see the plate. this so it look like this after frying it we are all in the final stage now it's a very simple process of making fudge so when this one become brown like this then I'm going to take it out then we start eating it please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also let me know your thoughts by comment commenting on my channel just comment your comment will let me know your thoughts and also do not forget to share 
also do not forget to press the notification button thank you so much for watching until i come your way next time with another uh, method of cooking uh, traditional uh, cooking food in the traditional means so let me serve the beans so that you see how it looks on my plate so let me serve it so it's looking like this you see can let it thick but I don't want it to be too thick you see can let it cook more but I like mine with water I build up a bit of water on it but trust me, when our mommy cook it back home, you see beans very thick. No, I don't want it to. It's nice like that, but I don't want it to be thick. You see, you got some water on it. Thank you so much. This is my beans, and I'm eating it with plantain, ripe plantain. After frying it, it looks like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until I come your way next time with another tutorial of how to cook food in a traditional how to cook beans in a traditional method. See you next time.